Front row MMA here with John McGuire just a few weeks before he's a uh, big fight in Sweden. Demarcus Johnson. Yes. Yeah. What have you got in store for him? Uh, I don't know yet. Let's see how I play by here. I've, I've got a game plan again, but I don't want to give it away yet. Absolutely. It's, it's a big fight for you. It's uh, an another big European venue for you. you. You're looking forward to the challenge, and where do you want to go from here? Well, one step at a time. I've just got to get the markers out of the way first. That's the plan. And uh, then see from where from there. We saw you fight Mr. Watson a while yeah. back. Yeah. I, I, I hate to talk to another fighter but another fighter's performance but I'm really interested to hear what you thought of what you saw tonight. Well I'm, I'm good, pretty good buddies with Tom and I go on with him and I, I knew I knew he'd win. Uh, Match was a tough guy that, but I think it was a big step up for him. Well, I thought what Tom looked clinical. More importantly back to you. <laughs> That's right it's all about me. <laughs> it's all about Mr. McGuire. Gypsy Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy Jitsu. Does the term that you you've coined the term that yeah. a lot of people are bandying it around now? Does that bother you at all, or is it nah, uh, is it all tongue in cheek? It's all tongue in cheek. But at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a gypsy. Me and my brother Tommy. I don't do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Never wear a gi, and I just do no gi wrestling, as I say, or submission wrestling. But I just call it Gypsy. Jiu put my spin on Gypsy, and I was the first one to do it. And uh, I think I've even trademarked it. <laughs> It's already done, just before we warned you, but yeah, it's Gypsy Jiu Jitsu, that's, and even that's on the UFC website, that's my style. And you, your last fight, UFC 138, um, when you got knocked to the ground, was that pretty much a wake-up call for you to, to finish the fight? Yeah, well, that it's a surreal moment, I've waited a long time to get to UFC, and uh, I was in, I, said, I just felt so flat, it was unbelievable, I was like, everything was slow-mo, until he hit me, woke me up, and that's uh, all I needed. And at the post-fight press conference, when people started asking you questions, you looked a bit surprised that they'd want to know yeah, well, stuff about I mean, you. Did it, that's what I, well, I was surprised because uh, I was quiet. I've been fighting a while in the UK. I didn't get much respect here in the UK and I was beating everyone. <laughs> and as soon as I have a good fight in the UFC, they're all like talking, chatting, but it's good. Thank you ever so much for your time. Anytime. Good luck in Sweden. Thanks very and much. And quite Thank frankly, you. I hope you Thanks kick the much. Americans' ass. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>